capture and keep tangible mementos of your favorite cultural icons is something that trading cards have enabled people young and old to do for years. The industry, however, hasn't been able to fully transition into the digital age. iCard seeks to solve this problem, reviving the industry with a modern, integrated solution. While digital trading cards are still a multi-million dollar industry, <clears throat> the community is segregated between various closed app platforms. Once you buy cards in one of these closed apps, you can only use them and view them in that single app. Imagine buying a piece of art, but you're never allowed to take it out of the gallery. If you want to show your friends and family, you must bring them to that gallery. This type of platform would appeal to a hardcore collector of a certain type, but tends to turn off casual users. With iCards, we hope to unify the whole community, ending the closed app madness currently available. We're creating a universal platform for collecting, bridging a gap between a wide spectrum of users. Think about Pokemon cards. Some like to play, others just like the art, but both parties purchased. We want to allow both groups to coexist and mingle on the same platform. There are many market parallels between the trading card and vinyl record industries. Recently, vinyl records have seen a massive revival in sales due to the sheer nostalgia factor of the medium, making a once antiquated industry a commodity. iCards will use these same methods, bringing the charm and nostalgia of trading cards and combining it with the state-of-the-art technology and an even larger platform for community. Our application will consist of four main features. In the store, users can purchase a multitude of packs, just as they would with traditional trading cards. All sets of cards will be of a limited quantity with unique serial numbers, and each card is verified with blockchains uh, built on an Ethereum-based smart contract system. These limited releases ensure that rare and older cards have a high demand for purchase. To meet this demand, we will implement a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace where users can list their own cards for sale. In our feed section, users can share their collections with the world and connect with friends. For gameplay-based sets, cards can be brought over to the card table where users can face off to put their decks to the test. Packs in the store can be purchased for 99 cents. In the marketplace, we take 2% off of every transaction, half of which pays for the Ethereum verification that occurs, the rest profit. We hope to retain users with our social platform, card game lobbies, and attract them with interesting and topical card sets. We're both computer science students with the skills necessary to launch our idea. My passions include front-end design, while John's focuses more on the back-end and database design, both with personal projects pertaining to cryptography and blockchains. We aim to spend the next several months developing a prototype, hoping to have a fully functional proof by, of concept by the end of May of 2019. From that point, we hope to launch into beta, where we will begin garnering users and press attention. During this period, we hope to raise around $100,000 in hopes to secure popular licenses for our full launch in May of 2020. Thank you all for your time and happy trading.